Hi, I'm Lance Hammond, branch president of NAACP DeKalb County. It's a mass canvassing rally organized by the state NAACP, hosted by DeKalb County. We have the Urban League here, uh, Black Voters Matter. Also have the uh, plant plant parents are here. So we got a uh, multi uh, cultural group to come out to canvas and drive this election across the board. What do we want? Voting right. right. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Voting right. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Voting right. What do we want? Now. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. First of all, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Mark Morial. I'm proud to serve as President and Chief Executive Officer of the National Urban League. And we want to welcome you to the new Black Wall Street Market. We are here not just to hold this press conference. We're going out in the community and we're going to go to work. Uh, we're going to go talk to as many voters as possible. I want to thank all of the volunteers from all of the organizations assembled. Give yourselves a big round of applause. We have students. We have people from Georgia. We have people from all over the nation who've come to Georgia to work and do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna be out in the community and in the neighborhoods talking to people about the value and the importance of this election. This is our state of emergency road tour. It is a state of emergency. Come on, man. Come on. Now right here in Georgia, People decided after you turned out in record numbers in 2020, decided to plot on how to snatch the vote away. And when they try to snatch the vote away, what do we do? We fight back. When they try to snatch the vote away, what do we do? Say we fight back. We fight back. So we are going to spend the next 48 hours doubling down on fighting back to protect our vote, to protect our voice and to ensure that we participate to the max in this upcoming election. Uh, but I'm proud to introduce uh, my colleague here in Atlanta, who's been doing incredible work across the board, Nancy Flay Johnson, Nancy. President of Urban League of Greater Atlanta. Nancy. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Tariq. All of the organizations that work nationally together and here on the ground. NAACP, Black Voters Matter, Georgia Coalition for the People's Agenda, and so many more. We are united. That's right. We are working together. That's right. And we respect each other. Don't be fooled by any rhetoric. That's right. We are in this thing yeah. together. Amen. And here's what you need to know about this great state where we live. While for many of us, we are doing well. Folks, but there are too many of us that look like us mm. that are not. That's right. We have a state that is divided. We have a state that is two Georgias. Mm. Come on, yeah. And Come what on. this election is about is bringing us, uh, those worlds together. Right. We are 32% of the population yes, of this are. state, right. one third right. of the Come people on. who Say live that. here. Say that. And yet, legislators who've been in control for a number of years are not addressing our needs, our concerns. We invest in this state's budget every single year like every other citizen. Right. And what we're fighting for on Tuesday is equity. This is our time. Facts. It is our time. Yes, it is. So facts. Georgia's number one for business, but we have the lowest minimum wage in the country. Fair. Georgia is one of the worst states in the nation for health care. This legislature refuses to expand Medicaid Amen. and cover 500,000 people. We have a state where children our education is based on a formula based on property taxes, which means lower income communities don't get the same level of investment. That's right. Folks, it's education. That's right. It's opportunities for careers, livable wage jobs. It's business development, Black Wall Street behind us. It is voting. It is wealth building. 
That is what the Urban League stands for. That is what this election is all about. And all of us here right. know that is what's most important for our people to take us forward from here. Mark brought up January 1 is the Mark's 160 years of the Emancipation Proclamation. But before that, 240 years of servitude. And we're 400 years in and we're still not respected. We're still oppressed. Laws are being passed to block our success. And so why is voting important? It's because the laws of the land determine the opportunities, y'all. We got to get people in who represent us and will fight for us. Amen. So it's not the, it, the people do matter who are in these seats. So look at their platforms. Engage. Get involved. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you all for showing up and going to the polls on Tuesday. And I am so proud that we partnered with Planned Parenthood Action Fund today. Ladies and gentlemen, give a Georgia and an Atlanta welcome to Alexis McGill Johnson. Thank you, President Morial. Thank you, everyone. Um, I am here in Georgia because all eyes are on Georgia. Right? That's right. That's right. I am here in Georgia because freedom runs through Georgia right now. Freedom is on the ballot. Mm. We saw that just a few weeks ago. Everywhere where freedom was on the ballot, the voters turned up and they turned out because they understood what was at stake. Yes. Yes. Democracy is on the ballot. Right. And everywhere, they tried to tell us, no, it was the economy, no, it was inflation. No, it was our reproductive freedom, it was all kinds of freedom, and our democracy. That is why we are here. That is why we are here together as partners in this moment. Right now in Georgia, there is a ban on reproductive freedom. And what that means is that there are patients every day who are showing up in health centers who need access to health care. They're showing up in a state that already has severe restrictions on health care, a state where only half of the counties have an OBGYN. Yes. Only yes. half. Yes. Where maternal mortality is among the highest in the states. So not only are we denying women access to reproductive freedom, we are also sentencing them to potential death, life or death situations because of the way that racism plays out in the healthcare system. So that is on the ballot. That is why we are here today. We are building an infrastructure of hope for yes. all of those yes. patients, all of those yes. providers, yes. all of the Georgians who desperately need access to care. I'm so grateful to be here in partnership with all of you all in Planned Parenthood Action Fund. We'll stand for the candidates who stand with us. Yes. Amen. 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 The Mayor, Mayor Jasmine Cobble, has arrived. Uh, we are so happy. Let's give a round of applause. Yes. History maker here in the state of Georgia. Mayor, come on and welcome all right. everyone. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, if you are, if this is your first time visiting in the city, welcome to the fantastic, the best city on this planet, <laughs> the city of Stonecrest. If you're returning here, welcome back. And if you're a Stonecrest resident, Stonecrest business owner, or you just represent the Cab County, let me hear you make some noise. Because we are in the best county in the planet. Look, people ask me quite often throughout the campaign season, either why it's important to vote, or why I should tell other people why it's important to vote. And no matter what, the answer is always the same. It's because our life depends on it. Yes. Literally, because our life depends on it. The vitality of our community, the very existence of, of us being here for generation after generation after generation right. is decisions that are being made on our behalf. Yes. If we do not exercise our right to make sure that that voice is our voice, yes. then right. it's our life on the line. Yes. So when someone asks you, why is it important to vote? Or when they ask you to tell someone else, why is it important to vote? The answer is simple. Our life depends on it. Our life depends on it. Healthcare expansion, your life depends on it. Criminal justice reform, your life depends on it. The cost of insulin, your life depends on it. Job growth, 
Your life depends on it. Infrastructure and transportation improvement. Your life depends on it. Job growth. Your life depends on it. Medicaid, health care. Your life depends on it. Women's reproductive rights. Your life depends on it. So when somebody asks you from this point on, why do you vote? Answer is simple. Because my life depends on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Melanie Campbell. Thank you, my brother from another mother. Can we give it up for my brother, Mark Moriel? And we here on this wonderful Sunday morning. And I got all, I, if I start calling them, we'll get in trouble. But I got to call the names of the sisters that I fight with. Helen Butler, step on up here. Right? Uh, Young folk with me. I got uh, Christina Q, who's our national campaigner. Come on up here. Stay with me. I got our black and vote leader, Daryl Coles, who's very shy, but he's a powerful young man. Stand up here with me. And I'm going to be very brief because I'm, I'm, we, we all vote. So I just want us to, you to repeat after me, Latasha Brown, my sister in the movement, and Brother Cliff. Rolling. Y'all been rolling. Y'all been rolling. So repeat. We all voting. We're going to knock some doors. So I just want you to repeat after me. We just left Lindsay back, Lindsay Street Baptist Church for their 110th anniversary yeah. with Reverend Motley. Yeah. And we talked about it this way. We said, so repeat after me. I will take, I will take five, five folks to vote. Five folks to vote. To protect, to protect our voting rights. Our voting rights. To protect. To protect. Justice, justice to bring justice, to bring justice in, the in the courtrooms for our people. For our people. I, will take five I will take five folks to vote folks to, vote. to stop unjust killing of our people by road police. I will take five people to vote to stop the senseless gun violence in our streets. To stop the senseless gun violence. To choose to own their power. Tell our young people we want them to choose to own their power. Choose to own their power. And choose books. Choose books. And not bullets. And not bullets. To protect our freedoms, to protect our freedoms. And, save our and save our democracy from being taken over, being taken by, over. Racist by racist white nationalists who nationalists. want to destroy this imperfect democracy and push, pu and push black and brown people to the back of the bus. But we ain't going nowhere. Church, uh, Jamal Brown. To our fearless leader, CEO Mark Moriel, to a uh, head of uh, state NAACP, uh, Attorney Griggs, I wanted us to have uh, context uh, as to why we are here today uh, outside of the new Black Wall Street. Uh, you have to understand through historical perspective that we have uh, two of the nation's largest civil rights organizations present, uh, the Urban League and the NAACP. Yes, yes. Let's give both of them an amazing <laughs> applause. We have held the torch and uh, the lamplight for really liberty and justice for all. Uh, but we do so at the door of New Black Wall Street. Yes. Uh, CEO Moriel and Attorney Griggs will tell you by the grace of God, of the headquarters of the Urban League and the headquarters of the NAACP have not been bombed. Mm -hmm. The very first time America ever bombed itself was Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, all right, all right. 101 it, years it. ago. Yeah. 
because they understood the threat of black economic power. Please understand the two most radical things that black people have is economics and democracy. And as a consequence, they want to bar and ban us from having access to both of those. And so in Georgia, you can easily get a loan for a used car, but you cannot do so to start a business. In Georgia, in our communities, you will find ATMs, but will not find branches. All right, all right. In our That's communities, right. you will find outsiders coming in to do development, all but right, black people said, can't Pastor. get a bid for construction. Yes. Uh, why it is that we are voting is understand that this is a radical revolutionary act. Yes. Martin Luther King Jr. in private conversation with Harry Belafonte said, I am afraid I've integrated the Negro into a burning house. All right, all right, what all is right. the point of us being able to sit at the lunch counter if we can't eat a cheeseburger? All right, uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. and this is not a game. All right, uh, There's a whole lot that has been put in place by HB202 mm -hmm. to tackle us, but right. it will not stop us from making a touchdown. Yes, uh, we yes. only have 48 hours left on the clock right, uh, before right. America realizes that Georgia is prepared to go into overtime. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that we will do what is needed and necessary to protect the bodies of our daughters, our sisters, mm -hmm. our aunts, mm -hmm. and our mothers, right. mm -hmm. because black women have already made enough yeah. sacrifices. Yeah. 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 They should not have to do another one on the name of politics. Yes. Yeah. So much is on the line for where it is that we are. CEO Moriel, one of uh, the candidates who's uh, running for Senate, while we were in church today, <laughs> had a rally. Yes. Uh, and said in that rally just hours ago that he is being called a coon, but he is proud to be one. Oh uh, and God. said the coon oh is one God. of the smartest animals <laughs> that you will ever find. Uh, that was from a certain senatorial candidate whose name doesn't have to be mentioned. All right, uh, all but right. today we're not looking for a coon, we need a black panther. <laughs> fight for our equality and fight for our children. Democracy is not a spectator sport. Everybody has to get on the field. And so today, I am a Baptist, but this afternoon, I'm a Jehovah Witness. We, we are going on every door in the cab county to knock on those doors to let them know that freedom ain't free. The only price you have to pay is at your time. Uh, and so in the words of that late great prophet, of the Pulse of New York Harlem Renaissance Laureate, Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. No <laughs> more sleeping in bed. Yeah. Right, so we ask that everybody will please do all that is needed and necessary so that America will see, Georgia will see, and the world Come will on. see uh, that the midnight train is still coming to Georgia. Yeah. Georgia's going to bring democracy to Washington, D.C. Thank you, so much. Yeah. President of the Georgia State Conference of the NAACP, Gerald Griggs. First and foremost, I want to bring you greetings on behalf of Georgia. Woo! I'm so proud to be here with so many Georgians. I also want to bring greetings from our national president, Derek Johnson, who could not be here. Yes. I want to bring greetings on behalf of our chairman, Leon Russell, who could not be here. And I must acknowledge the the president of this branch, Lance Hammonds, who is here, and also the president of the Atlanta branch, Richard Rose, who is here. We are honored to stand with all of these voting rights and civil rights organizations that have been doing the work, both nationally, regionally, and locally. But I come to you as the president of the boldest, the coldest, the oldest and the most cussed and disgust organization in this country. And we have a message for Georgia. Georgia, we've done it once before in 2018. We did it in 2020. We did it again in 2021. And now the world is watching Georgia in 2022. And we have a message from Georgia. We will do it. We are doing it. And we're about to get on the bus and knock some doors to tell other people to do it. So here's what we have to do in this moment. We have to ground ourselves in the moment. We are standing outside of a beacon of economic freedom, which is the That's new right. Black Wall Street. That's right. yeah. We are in the most diverse county in Georgia next to Gwinnett. We're in DeKalb County. 
the cab county as the cab county goes typically is how georgia goes and so when we go out to these doors and we knock these doors and we talk to georgians talk about what we already have done talk about the history they're about to make talk about how this is going to shape politics in georgia for health care for voting rights for reproductive rights for criminal justice reform for economic development and talk to them in a language that only georgians understand we stand on the precipice of a decision about civil rights and social justice. So do we want to make John and Martin proud? Yes. Or do we want to see somebody spike a football? <laughs> Let me be clear. This is about Georgia representing Georgia. Yes. And we need individuals that understand Georgia, that live in Georgia, that can spell Georgia. <laughs> So the message from the NAACP to Georgians is twofold. One, thank you. Thank you for saving the democracy so many times. But Georgia, the second message is, let's not disappoint the world. Let's put our shoes on. Let's go talk to our neighbors. Let's get in our cell phones and text 50 people. Let's get on our social media and have a conversation about Tuesday. Because Tuesday is time for Georgia to rise up. Now we know there's a certain team hopefully that rise up today. But on Tuesday, Georgians are gonna rise up. We are going to march to the polls. We are going to make sure we elect somebody that speaks to the values of Georgia. And then on Wednesday, we're going to wake up, we're going to celebrate, and then we're going to get back to the work of Georgia.